Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up With Kia P. And today we are going to do a resin purse. Yay, we finally got these in. And so I cannot wait to get started. Um, we took some of the yellow um, resin I already had from a previous project and I used... I separated the rest of the clear I had left and I put the purple mica powder in one, the pink mica powder in another, and I'm going to add some yellow gold mica powder to this yellow just to give it a little pearlized shimmer to it. And we're going to stir that up. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to stir these. And I hope I got enough. But my main color I want is the pink. And then I'm just going to use, and that just kind of gave it a little pearl, a little pearl effect. And then that has the purple in there, and I'm just going to stir that purple down in there. That is so pretty. All that purple is pretty. You want to make sure you stir, 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 stir your mica powders and I think I put most of the resin in this pool, in this purple I want to make sure I keep it these cups are so small so I want to stir vigorously but not where I'm wasting it over like I just did Making sure that that gets in there. I'm just going to clean up my hands a little bit. My gloves. <clears throat> and I'm going to wipe my cup off. To keep that from it. I'm still mixing because it's a pearl. Color. And it's transparent. Mm. So it's not opaque. You can actually kind of see through this mica one. But it's really, really, I don't know if you can see that. It's real pretty though. And I put a nice little dab of mica powder in it. So I'm going to just kind of keep stirring that up. Now this is the pink. And it's just kind of sitting on the popsicle stick. So we're going to stir that in as much as we can. And it is also an iridescent knee type color. It's pretty though. I'm just going to stir and pull off of my spatula. Hopefully, that'll get it mixed in there pretty good. I pulled quite a bit of it off of the spatula. And I can get a lot of that color off. And get that mixed in there pretty good it's pretty that is pretty okay I just hope I have enough for both bags so we got pink we got purple we got yellow oh, that was close so I got a lot of the purple, I got a lot of the pink, and I don't know how many it's going to take, but we are just going to get going. <clears throat> so I have them both here. I want to kind of keep them consistent. 
so I have them both here side by side and I'm just going to start with my pink pouring it across the top that one come back and pour the rest across the top This is my very first bag and I'm loving this color so next I'm gonna come with my yellow my gold so I kind of want to keep the purple and the gold kind of separated and I'm just gonna come right back with my gold like so yeah I don't know how this is gonna come out then I have no I just like these colors so I just we really wanted something. I don't have a bag that it has yellow in it. I don't have a pink bag. And I've been seeing like the graffiti bags and they have these colors through them. So I figured why not create my own. graffiti style inspired bag and I'm, I'm one of them type that likes to get all of the resin off if I can and then we're gonna come back with our purple for that bottom color and I had a, a lot of the purple so we just want to make sure that we get it along the bottom. So we are going to need to pour some more. I have a little bit, but I was going to use this for something else. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to incorporate it in here with the purple, maybe. So I'm going to come back here. Grab my purple. I'm going to take my gloves off because I don't want my stuff getting dirty. And I'm going to put a smidge of my purple. Into. <clears throat> and this little bit I got left. I got just a little. So I'm just going to. Put it all in there and dab it in there. Put my gloves back on. Put that in there. But I think it's going to be cute. And I'm going to need some more resin though because I want to do one more little color in here. Kind of make it bold. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, that came out a lot darker for that little bit. So, yeah. We'll make sure we get enough in both because this is a darker purple. Then the 
other one was and so I like the effects definitely like the effects in this one Definitely like the effects. And it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Okay, I got purple. Just a little bit of purple left over. So. Hmm. Super pretty. So, I got pink at the top, yellow kind of through the middle, but what I want to do is I want to highlight this with black, just a little bit, not a lot, but I need to fill this um, mold up over here too, so what I'm going to do is just take everything out trash what I don't need change my gloves out and then we're gonna I'm gonna clean this one and I'm gonna pour for this black and then fill it and we'll be done so another set of gloves but that is looking pretty that is looking pretty for my very first one And because I know that it's leaning, I'm going to turn it so that the resin can run towards the opposite direction. So this next one, I'm just going to put, like I said, I just want a little bit of black to go through there. I'm going to be honest, I don't even really have to use that cup I can use. One of my smaller ones. Yeah. Well, no. Because I need to feel this. So, we'll do about four ounces. Let me mark this off on my cup. And that's fine. It's just sitting there. So, we'll do B and A. Let's do B. Yep, that should be enough. So here and here. Because <clears throat> the lines are not good enough to see, I have to kind of mark it. I'm just going to pour my resin uh -oh, a little bit much, a little bit much. It's more than what I needed. Much more than what I needed. Oh, 
and let that level out. Okay. Yep. So we got that about right. I'm gonna come back, put my B in here. There it is. I'm gonna make this black. Because I just wanted to accent. Just a little bit. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. Try to upload as often as I create. So make sure you click like and subscribe. I'm trying to get my subscriberships up so that I can do a giveaway. So if you would share the video, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'm just putting a little bit of black acrylic paint in here to stir it up. I said I wanted to use the black as an accent to um, just kind of make it pop a little bit. And then I'll finish out the ashtray. Started a black ashtray, so I'll finish that out with the leftover because I don't want to use a lot but I do want it to be solid <clears throat> I don't want to use a lot of resin I just want to accent it and you see it's already like doing this thing over here we'll let this level all right so all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna lightly and be very very careful with it because I just want to or just a little bit, just like that, nothing major. I might come through and do one more. That's it. And the rest we're gonna pour in here. Fill that on up. Thank 
thing about it is just art. It's just art. Ooh, I like how that blue, how that blue came out in that purple. Oh, that is so dope. That's pretty. Yeah. I love that. That's pretty. And I think I want to kind of do maybe one at the bottom. That's it. I'm gonna sit and let that cure. Knock the bubbles out of it real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of this black in this ashtray. Because again, we don't want to waste anything. And then we'll just sit tight and wait for everything to cure. Come back, assemble, put everything together. And we will be done with our purse. So thanks for watching. Sit tight and I'll come back. Okay, guys, we are back from the pour and it getting hard. It's been a couple of weeks. It's been sitting here because I've been waiting on material. But nevertheless, while it was sitting, I added, I'm going, I added a few stickers and I'm going to add these rhinestones to it to kind of give it a little bling to the purse. I think it came out real pretty though. I think it's going to be a real pretty purse. I wish it would have um, kind of the black lines would have stayed in it, but you know resin, it does what it do. So I'm going to glue a couple of more stones on here. These are black rhinestone stickers I had bought from Michaels during, um, like right during Halloween time. So they're like a black iridescent stone uh, pattern. And I just added them in there. And I'm going to add some small, um, just some small iridescent uh, clear stones here and there just to give the purse a little bling effect. And just kind of want to play around with the design and see what, you know, I can do. So I'm just grabbing like some of the smaller ones that are in here and um, I'm going to add them to the purse here and there. I don't know, but... Just pulling those out. I'm going to add those to, to the bag. Remember to go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell. I thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so much. And if you guys want to send donations, I will definitely leave the cash app link in the bottom of the, in the descriptions below. Because guys, like I'm taking all donations. If you want me to make something for you, you can leave a comment. You can donate. I will make something for you. Ship it to you. No problem. I will be putting these purses on display. Um, this was this is the very first one that will be in my collection. And they will start from anywhere from I want to say basically 55 and up depending on the embellishments 
how much I have to put into it because um, I, I plan on really adding some really nice gems as we go along. And of course, the more expensive the gem, the more expensive the bag. But you will um, be able to, once you purchase your first one, you can return a card in there that's going to come with the bag and get 20% off any of your bag purchases. So again, it will be a collection. No bag will be the same because it's almost impossible to create the same bag. But and that's what that's the beauty of it. And that is the absolute beauty of it. So make sure you hit subscribe. I'm still going to be giving away a free gift real soon here. And we're going to do it live, right? So y'all can let me know what y'all would like to, you know, be gifted. If you were the winner, give me some idea because I'm really like stumped into what to do, give or whatnot. I think this bag is going to be gorgeous. And I'm just, again, picking out some stones. These are iridescent clear stones. And I'm just going to place them and glue them right on the bag, right on the resin. In between these little areas where... <coughs> these um stickers and so, some of the smaller ones I'll, I'll glue inside the sticker so like these real little ones I'll find a little spot and glue them in there to kind of make it cohesive throughout the bag but I'm super excited so I'm gonna get these glued and I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me put on every last little one of these but I'm just giving you an idea again of what you can do the designs are limitless guys like you can really do some awesome stuff and I can create some awesome things for you. But super, super cute and blingy. You know, we girls, we like blingy things. I know I do. I like blingy stuff. That was a small one. That's what I need. I need the little ones. And then I'm going to demote it, put it together, and go from there. So give me a few seconds and we'll come right back. Okay, we have put all of the additional stones on there. That's how we're looking so far. I think it's going to be cute. So what I'm going to do is demold them. And they've been sitting for a minute, so I really don't know how or if it's going to even come out. Because it's been sitting, guys. For a minute. But it is super cute. I don't know if you guys can see. Um... can see that it's got like a pearl effect to it it's got like a pearl effect around the sides so that's one one side of it and this is the other and we're gonna get ready to put this bad boy together and I think it's gonna be adorable and cute that's the other one you see that pearl effect it's got like a little blue in there so you can kind of wear this with just about any colors super cute oh i like that okay so i guess that's how this is supposed to go maybe put that to the side now we're gonna work on and let them finish up let the stones finish up dry i think that's gonna come out really really cute so the next thing is we're gonna work with is cutting this i bought this like iridescent um plastic because i bought the frames it didn't come the set didn't come with the little plastic shield that supposed to come in here to keep your stuff from falling out so, yeah, but we do have the frame here, and we're going to get ready to put this together. we get ready to put this together. So hopefully everything 
everything works. So it, it opens up flat like that. And I want to put the protective shields on the insides to keep it from opening up so far. So what I've seen someone do, and then I bought this sheet. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's an iridescent and it has a film on it, both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up to how I want it and then cut it. So we want it to be able to open pretty, a pretty decent length. And then you want it to be able to fold in to keep your stuff inside. So we'll, we'll, we'll um, I'm going to take my pen here, my Sharpie. Y'all, this, this is my first one. So and I'm going to measure. I'm just going to measure or and cut that piece out and once I get the first one cut I can cut a second piece and we can go from there so I need about this much and then that way I can just go ahead and put this to the side put this out of the way And I'm just taking the tape off. So I'm gonna keep the protective film on here. And so I have this line coming here and this line coming here. Up. And I want it to be kind of even so cut it across like so. Come back and sharpen up my edges a little bit. And let's try one, one sheet and then we'll see if that works. So it is to go kind of glue in there. Double taped. I just want to make sure that I have this right. I don't think I do. I don't think I cut it. Cut it enough. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to cut it. Okay, give me one second while I figure this out. Okay, I'm back. Finally, I got one side, one side in. Okay. And that is like a stopper to keep your belongings from falling out. And so I'm going to show you what I did. And so I just replica a, a, another side piece for the other side. And I used double-sided tape on one side, folded it a little bit. And I'm just bringing it in here to the cutoff side, taking my tweezers to press down the double-sided tape to lock that in. And then I'm going to take that in, in like so, bring it around to the other side. And then I'm going to lock that in there like that. And we should have the two sides. And I got the dollar, um, I got this from the Dollar Tree actually. Um, just a little simple row for a buck. And I don't need the whole thing because it's, and I'm going to cut it in half. Because I don't need this wide of a piece. And then just set that to the side. Lay this on the inside of the folded part where I folded it in because that's the part that's gonna um, stick on the inside till I can glue everything in and down. And then I'm gonna just fold this. It's got like these little grooves, so I'm just folding it and placing it down in that in those grooves. Taking my tweezers and pressing to, so that the tape will stick until I come back with with the glue. And so that gives us the two corners. Not too bad, but yeah. So it's gonna go look nice with the um with the molds. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick them in here real quick just to make sure everything fits nice. And then come back and glue it. I think that's how that goes. And
and then that fits down in there and we'll have our cute little little purse so let me get our glue together and what i'm gonna use is my e6000 um because i trust it it's trusty you can use um your resin if you want i don't have uv resin so i'm just gonna pour my e6000 down in these grooves nice and slow and I'm just making sure it's getting in the groove so when I go slow it's like falling down in there I'm super excited again please hit subscribe so that you can um, be a part of any giveaways um, you can keep up with what I'm doing. And we can continue to craft together. If you want to donate, want me to make some stuff for you. I got some nice projects coming soon. So I'm excited about that. And so what I'm going to do now is just take this one and put it, try to snap it in. I'm going to close this up so we can be able to snap. a box into the mold and um okay i got this side in so now i want that to work this corner and i think let's see what, what's going on here there we go okay so we got that in nice and snug let me get some toilet paper towel and i like to use these blue paper towels because oh, oh we want to be careful because again I was real generous with that E6000 and so I'm going to come back with some um, with some my wipes <clears throat> I told you I'm all nothing to set up on it but that is looking super cute and I just like to use these baby wipes. Um, I use them for my resin projects. Y'all can get these at the Dollar Tree. Um, they work just, just as well um, to keep your area clean, your hands clean. They wipe off the glue. It just keeps everything looking nice and clean and neat. And with just a couple of strings. Like I say, we just wanted to want everything to stay nice and clean. And so I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to glue this other one in. I'm super excited because I have a lot of new projects coming. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for those of you who have. I will be doing my giveaway real soon. We again had to wait on some products, materials. Because y'all know this resin, these things are not cheap. And molds and... You know, everything us crafters be needing to continue to craft. So, in time, you know, I've uh, went back to working. So, I miss um, being able to craft full time. But we're going to get there. We're going to get back to doing just that. Okay, so we're going to put the, the other side on. I am so excited about this. And I'm just gonna, that one went in real nice, I think. And that is that. Got a little bit of glue on my gold part. And we wanna make sure we keep everything nice and clean and neat, shiny. and shiny and that cleans it up really really nice and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to clamp this so that it stays nice and snug but I'll come back when we are completely finished finished and show you the finished product
and there you have it the finished product she is super gorgeous luxurious everything you will need for a pop of color a pop of glam a statement piece she is all of that okay beautiful beautiful make sure to subscribe and like the channel if you want to donate to the channel you can do so through cash app i will leave it in the link below yes honey she is gorgeous if you want to purchase her she will be for sale you can leave a comment contact me on instagram at power projects underscore underscore ceo on facebook at power projects underscore ceo yes you will find me there and let me know that you want the want the um resin clutch back she is gorgeous i don't know what to call her but honey she is everything luxury everything to me yes so make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you guys all the kia crafters thank you guys for subscribing i appreciate you guys i love you love you love you thanks for boosting my channel a little bit and i hope that you continue to boost me up there i'm trying to get there i'm trying to make us pop so thank you and have a good one